Hey, love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome to my uh, returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Thank you so much for dropping me lines each and every day, allowing me to send blessings to you as you do the same, allowing me to be the teacher as well as the student as I learn things off of you and you challenge me and, you know, it's vice versa. So it's all greatly appreciated. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback and I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or you're allowing yourself to be you know, to be open enough to tell me about your empathic gift and how it has been placed upon you. And if you feel like the videos gave you a good, you know, good, good message or just even give you a good vibe towards you or you just took something really good out of the message you felt like you need to, you know, share it to somebody else, go ahead and do that. Or give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites so i hope you're able to resonate with the video today or allowing yourself to just be open and just soak it up and thank you so much for stopping on my channel and the meditation music i'm listening to today is positive energy meditation music chakra balance balancing and healing music relax mind body and inner peace and i will post that link in this description box below and my video today is about twin flames 101 and past learning um reiki techniques like for me um you know i didn't know for a while what reiki was i was just listening to a lot of the meditation um videos that they have on youtube which is so helpful because sometimes i forget you know to go ahead and meditate because it's like especially with empaths we soak up so much energy you know we have to allow ourselves to heal, you know, it, it's like, you know, there's a lot of uh, Reiki therapists, which they don't have them around here that I have found out, so um, you have to be your own at times, you have to find techniques that you're allowing yourself to vibrate that positive energy into your life by just the touch of, you know, just bringing that physical and emotional well-being into your life, you know, you know, do things that allow yourself to get you know, your energy from nature, allow yourself to do nature walks, you know, just to clear your mind, just to put yourself in that meditation, even if it's for like 20, 10 to 30 minutes, allowing yourself to be able to eat right, you know, which is hard to do sometimes, especially if you're eating on the go, you might need to go ahead and change your diet, which I know I need to allow myself to do too, so while I'm sitting up here talking, so it's just that we have to be able to eat right, you know, clear our minds as much as we have, we can possible, you know, especially if you have like a busy work schedule, if you can find that time between 10 and 30 minutes out of your day, just allow yourself to be able to recharge those quick minutes because it's just the energy that we soak up is, is enough to drain you. And it's just like with me, with my gift becoming stronger and more potent every day, it's like I use so much energy, light working and allowing myself to be open to the, you know, the the spiritual realm and, you know, just taking up so much energy, it, it drains me a lot because there's times that I can do like videos with y'all for like, you know, four or five days and I might have to recuperate for like two or three because that takes out a lot of energy for myself. So I want you to let me know how do you allow yourself to bring that, you know, your your emotional and your physical well-being into a positive, you know, aspect. How do you be able to clear your mind and, you know, how are you able to bring positive energy to your life? Because it's just sometimes we have to fantasize about ourselves being on that beach, you know, just peace and quiet, you know, having the, you know, just that beach air, just, you know, soaking up that sun and stuff like that, and allowing yourself just to meditate, and that, that's what I have to do sometimes, because sometimes when you're stressful, stressed, you know, just really stressed out, you got so much negative stuff around you, you have to be able to picture yourself, like, oh gosh, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm in Bora Bora somewhere, like, laying up under the sun with, you know, my little coconut drink, you know, <laughs> with the little umbrella sitting on the side, and just, you know, somebody just serving me some 
you know, some fruits and stuff like that. I have to imagine myself doing stuff like that sometimes when it get hectic because it, you know, it you know, get hard for us sometimes. <laughs> Especially when you got so much stuff coming at you. Because when you know when you're pushing out so much positive, you know, it, you, for the balance, you're going to have some negative stuff that comes at you. But, it, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's like we all got to go through it. So just allowing yourself, even, you know, if you can, just, you know, keep a lot of sage around you. You know, I, I mean, we have to clear ourselves out a lot. You know, that's why I tell some of my friends, you know, if you're not allergic to, you know, lavender and Epsom salt, allow yourself to soak in it, you know, shower in it or whatever, you know, just to get that, you know, that clear, that clarity, just to have that positive thing, you know, just that positive energy around you. It's just that we have to work on our physical and our emotional because if not, we'll be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So allow yourselves to do what you need to do to get into that positive, you know, mindset. You know, I know sometimes it can be really hard, especially with you having so many things that, you know, in our everyday daily routine, it can get hectic. But allow yourselves to be able to clear your mind and your heart and your soul to be able to center yourself to where you need to be. So I hope you are able to get something out of this message. I hope you, you know, you're ready for the weekend and, you know, just ready to relax and, you know, uh, allow yourself to be able to unwind, you know, watch some movies, allow yourself to hang with friends if you can. You know, if you're, you know, you're out there, go ahead and do some window shopping. You don't even have to go window shopping. Just allow yourself just to be able to go out there. I said, me. I said I'll probably be, you know, doing some nature walking or get out there and do something this, this weekend. So I hope everybody is safe and, you know, stay blessed and able to send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And know that you are blessed and highly favored and know that you are truly loved. So, like I said, send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And... You know, uh, drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And give me a thumbs up, like me, and even share on your social media pages. And I will talk to you later. Peace. And be wild.